Are you a fan of crochet? In today's how to slice, we're going to be checking out some crochet accessories. So let's start. This is the tape measure rewinder. So as you can see, I just imported the model to Prusa Slicer. And this is a really nice model to hold your tape measure and it rewind itself. So as you can see, this is a really simple model. The assembly, it's really easy to do. There's just the top cover over here and the base. So let's see the best printing settings to print this model. Over here in layer height, we're gonna leave it at 0.2 millimeters. Uh, 0.2 millimeters is fine. We're gonna get a really good result and it's not gonna take that much time. Over here in perimeters, we're gonna select just three walls. That's enough so we can get a really rigid part. Over here, there is this tip right here. This is a really nice tip for this model. As you can see, this is the model of a wall. So as you can see, uh, what we can be doing to get a more uh, fair result closer to a wool, a ball of wool over here, we can be giving it a little bit of a texture. So as you can see, there is no texture in this wool. What, what we can do is turn on fuzzy skin. Fuzzy skin is a really nice feature to get a little bit of a texture in the model, to get a more realistic result. So let's go back to the print settings. Over here in fuzzy skin, we're gonna just select outside walls. We do not need fuzzy skin in the inside walls, okay? So you can be just selecting outside walls and fuzzy skin thickness, it's gonna be a 0.3. And for fuzzy skin point distance, we're gonna be reducing a little bit so we can get that grain type like of a wool. So let's go to infill. Over here in infill, we're gonna be increasing to 15% of fill density and selecting gyroid. Gyroid is a really nice infill pattern. As for skirt and brim, we do not need any brim. It's got a really good bed adhesion to the table, so we do not need any brim. And let's take a look if this model needs support. So as you can see, this model does not need any support. It's optimized for printing and we will not need to enable support. So over here in support material, we're not gonna generate support material. As for speed, we can leave it at your default uh, printing speed. We do not need to slow down the printing speed for this uh, project because this is a really big part. It does not have small overhangs, so we do not have to reduce the printing speed. So as for the configurations, we changed all the parameters needed to have a good print. Let's slice just to take a look at how it's gonna look with the fuzzy skin on. And as you can see, it can be printed in only one go. It will fit in one build plate. So I just sliced the model and as you can see, the model is fine with fuzzy skin, it looks nice, but we have got a problem. As you can see over here, um, in the part that's gonna screw in um, the top cover over here. So as you can see, this part does not have fuzzy skin. But over here, it's got fuzzy skin and we're gonna have a problem because when you're going to screw in this bottom part with the top part, it's not gonna work well because it's got fuzzy skin over here. Um, it's gonna, um, it's not gonna fit because we got fuzzy skin on. So what we're gonna have to do is remove this fuzzy skin. We selected outer fuzzy skin only, but it affects this region. So we're gonna add a mod modifier. So let's head back over here, select base color, add a modifier. Let's select cylinder. We're gonna increase the cylinder a lot just so we can impact all this region right here. Make sure we select everything, all this region, as we can see over here. And right now you're going to right click on the generic cylinder over here and add settings, fuzzy skin. You're gonna be selecting all these values, fuzzy skin, as you can see it's set to outside walls, you're gonna select none. So after that, 
the modifier is going to change the value for this part only that is, is inside the cylinder. So as you can see, we're going to slice and take a look at how it looks. So as you can see, I just sliced and it changed. Um, it, we do not have fuzzy skin on the screw over here. So it looks nice. As you can see, it's got fuzzy skin inside here, but it's not going to affect um, the model and it looks fairly nice. So as you can see, it's going to take 11 hours to print 101 grams of filament. And as you can see, it's going to turn out really nice. So I hope you have found all these tips useful. I'll see you in another how to slice and happy printing. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.